my name is Dr. Mary Teets. I'm the director of the Health Informatics Program here at the University of Texas at Arlington for the College of Nursing and Health Innovation. I'd like to provide a brief overview of health informatics. Health informatics is as much a system of information as it is a system of medicine. This trend has been driven by the transition of medical records in the form of paper before 2009 to the present electronic medical record, also known as EHR, systems represented by a digital form of the medical record. This transition allows for digital data collection, analysis, and application to improve patient care delivery and has yielded a new discipline of health informatics. The collection, management, and use of that information is so important that a new branch of healthcare has emerged in recent years called health informatics. The interdisciplinary field utilizes computer science and information technology to solve problems in healthcare. There is demand for this profession and the field is expected to grow through the next decade. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment in healthcare informatics will increase faster than the average through 2029. So health informatics is made up of three parts. Health information technology systems management, data analytics, and clinical decision support, which together contribute to improved healthcare. Health informatics systems management includes the implementation of and installation of safe technology to care for patients. Data analytics includes managing information and data. And clinical decision support is essentially using information to support providers with clinical decision assistance. It's important that all understand that health informatics is different from tools such as artificial intelligence or particular fields like that of data scientists or public health and epidemiology professionals. When it comes to career pathways, options in health informatics, clinical experience can be very helpful. If you already have some kind of clinical experience, then health informatics has a subspecialty where that experience, along with the health informatics knowledge and skills, becomes your new career pathway. For example, health informatics surveillance of community trends to specifics of health conditions and how best to manage them within the healthcare delivery system. Another example is being a nurse. I will provide the example of clinical knowledge and the skills of managing patients in their specific condition. It can be integrated into data sources and technology. Additionally, you are not only focused on the patient, but you are also focus on the providers, such as other nurses and physicians, and the success of their interaction with data and technology and delivery of patient care. There are also potential careers for nursing, which include three elements. Documentation, which is content reflecting nursing care of patients in the electronic health record, and the associated workflow management of that, or medication administration, which is barcode-based medications and administration, or even theory, which focuses on research and administration background. There are many different roles within the field of health informatics. You can be an informatics director who manages changes in technology and trains other employees a health IT project manager overseeing health tech projects, or maybe you like the detail work of managing an electronic health record usability for providers such as physicians and nurses. Whatever your interest may be, it's important to know that there are plenty of options in this new and exciting industry. You can visit our website for more information on how to earn your graduate certificate in health informatics, as well as the master's in nursing health informatics degree. In healthcare, we can make a difference in patient outcomes. The technology and analytics we work with has the potential to help save lives. 
That's something of which health informaticists can be proud.